39 days away from opening day and what could be the beginning of the end for one of the all-time great Mets. Pete Alonso signed a one-year deal and sent a signal that he won't settle by switching to notorious hard bargaining agent Scott Boris. With the latest from Port St. Lucie, here's Otis Livingston. The Mets believe they had a good offseason. One thing that didn't happen was a contract extension for three-time All-Star Pete Alonzo. And of course, that was a prime topic of conversation during his press conference today, in which I asked him this question. Can you say that you want to be a lifelong man? I've definitely thought of the idea. I've definitely welcomed the idea, but I can't predict the future. A future that appears to be uncertain until after the season ends. General Manager David Stern said a long-term deal will likely not happen until Alonzo reaches free agency in the offseason. For Pete, he has to concentrate on what he can control. My job, like I said before, it's, it's the same. It's to put together, like have the as many quality at bats as I possibly can, four or five at bats a day, play good defense, run the bases well, be a good teammate. Whether he gets a new contract or not, Carlos Mendoza is thrilled to be Alonzo's new manager. He's seen what a special player he is. Happy to have P on my side now. You know, I've seen this guy perform for so many years, and uh, now that I get to work with him, and uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, and look, this is a guy that has been in, uh, in New York. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest stages there is in, in sports. And, um, and he's performed. And if Pete Alonso performs like normal, I believe he'll get the deal he wants with the team he's always wanted to play for, the New York Mets. From Port St. Lucie, Florida, Otis Livingston, CBS 2 News.